Hey guys, it's me again, and this is Nick here. Hi guys. We, we just got back from seeing Gangster Squad. Yes, we did. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if you can. I, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the bloody hail, hail again. Yeah, being a pain in the arse. Oh, uh, hitting off my Vlux and. <laughs> but um, I, I being a, I, I am the host. I would like to say my opinion first, but I'm going to be a gentleman and let Nick say his opinion first. What did you think of this movie? I went into it going like, oh, Daryl wants to see this movie. I quite I saw the trailer, I kind of fancy it. I went in not expecting what I got, and what I got was an enjoyably brilliant gangster movie that harkens back to, like, old school gangster movies, but then oh, yeah. also, but it's also like a B-movie. It's just really good. It's a lot of fun. It's, it is pretty violent as well, actually, at times. Like, within the first five minutes of the movie, we got a guy getting torn in half by two cars, which you would think is pretty comedic. And then he burns some these guys alive in an elevator. And he burns a guy, yeah, and then he drills a guy through the head. Yeah, I, I think the only one that looked like it had been cut was the railroad one. The rest of them Well, no, it like... wasn't railroad. It was just, they were just like behind the Hollywood Boulevard yeah, scene and they just pulled yeah, them yeah. apart. With two... The fun, the really weird thing is though, is that when they pull them apart, they have this bit where they like tease him by like pulling him a little bit and you hear this cracking noise and it's like, oh! Yeah, and, and then yeah, they and pull then him it, apart and it's like, and it oh! cuts very quickly yeah. to like the dog. So it looks like, I'd love it looks to... like there'd probably be a bit mm. where they've dragged him apart yeah, and, and the dogs like drag him away or some mm. shit like that. But I'm looking forward to seeing it when it comes out in DVD and Blu-ray. I'll probably get a Blu-ray cut. Yeah, because but... it's probably, I don't think that the BBFC particularly would have then cut this down for an eating certificate, it's probably that uh, what happens is a lot of the time is is Americans cut it for like to avoid getting an NC-17 rating mm. and then the same cut is then passed to like all the other places. It's it's more mm, homogenized yeah. and because yeah. Hollywood controls the world. Pretty much. Although I think that's probably the idea that this movie tries to put across, isn't it? It's like, you know, I'm Nicky Cohen. <laughs> Mickey Cohen, the villain, Sean Penn, he was awesome. Yeah, he's fucking creepy a lot of the time, and he's I like creepy. the fact that he was like a boxer, you oh, know? Oh yeah, I like the box. I think the intro kind of reminded me almost of Rocky, he was like, he fights his way to the top, you know? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Rocky. Also, it doesn't help that we saw a Sylvester Stallone. Oh, there was a trailer. The most cliched movie oh, ever. Oh, there was a trailer it's before. It's got Sly in it, I'm going to go and see it. I like yeah, Sylvester Stallone. There was Stallone. a trailer before the movie started. It was for a movie called Bullet to the Head, which is like Sylvester Stallone in generic action flick. It's like just a, it's just like he kills a bunch of people, the gangsters kidnap his daughter and he has to go rescue his daughter with some comedic Asian guy, of course. Yeah, so it's like Taken uh, and a bunch of other movies. It's a, it's Taken with Well, hopefully Sly it's better Asian than guy. Taken 2. I haven't seen Taken 2. Which was two. awful. I don't want to see it. I don't see why that movie needed a sequel. It kind of left it. But you know what? We're going off We're going off topic. Um, yeah, they're more like but, funny than Nick and Chris go to the movies episode. Yeah. That's the thing. But I think, okay, while we're on the topic of Sean Penn, we should talk uh -huh. about the rest of the cast. Um, what's his name? Nick Nolte, I think his name is? Yeah. yeah, Nick Nolte. He was really good. He had this cool voice. He was all like, "Yeah, I talk like this, you know. We gotta like, we gotta make sure that all the all the crimes are stopped in this city, you know. But we gotta chill. We gotta chill." I don't think he was as bad as that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just taking a piss, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's so. I know, but it's it's funny because he takes it so seriously, and at the same time, he's kind of like, you know, having a lot of. I think he's. Fun I think it, he you know? is taking it a bit more seriously because he's screwing yeah. the main uh, ga the gangster's girl and yeah. basically he's going she... to get it's not he's, it's going to be the beginning of license to kill oh yeah yeah, yeah the his license... heart give him his heart you his uh, give him his heart yeah uh, she's played by uh, emma stone i think and oh, what is what movies are emma stone in easy <laughs> e oh, <yeah. laughs> um <laughs> then you would never have thought to see her in this movie would you and of course <laughs> um um this Amazing Spider-Man. Oh yeah, she was in the Amazing Spider-Man, wasn't she? Uh huh. And uh, Daryl was expecting boobs, but I then... was pissed that she didn't get a rag. Yeah, out. but God she wouldn't, because there'd be like a no nudity clause and shit in it. You know, it's not like it's not Golden Ninja Warrior here, Daryl. Oh, Golden Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Nudity every five seconds with a saxophone solo. <laughs> Sweet saxophone solo. But yeah, Josh Brolin is the lead. Who? Yeah. He was. 
badass throughout the whole movie. I was constantly just muttering to myself, this guy's awesome. I know. Uh, <laughs> I was just saying that. I was just like sitting there like, this guy's just, doesn't give a fuck. Within the first 10 minutes of the movie, busts into a brot. Busts into a place where people are just raping, raping chicks. Just busts in and just kills everyone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's how you do it, people. Only a six shooter. In fact, he didn't even use his gun. He didn't even use his gun. No, he just beat the shit. I liked how also. Well, actually, no. He, well, no, he used. No, he used the other guy's gun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was even funnier. But I love how as soon as he gets back to the the police station, they do the chief thing. It's like, get your ass in here. And it's like, the mayor's getting up my ass. And it, you know, it's like, yeah, because they're all corrupt. I know it was awesome though. I just love, I love seeing that in these kinds of movies where they just yeah. they just go back to the whole like in Bad Boys, they had the chief who was just like the mayor is getting don't pissed talk off. About about bad Boys. We still not talk about Bad Boys Two where there's oh. a bunch of rats having sex. Oh, I turned it off after that. I Ugh, I sat through that whole movie. See you, sir. Oh, what a piece of shit. Never watching another, I don't, never doing <laughs> another Michael Bay movie on camera ever again. I'm not even doing any more Michael Bay movies. <laughs> fuck it, I'm not even going back and going, oh, let's do... No, fuck it, no. Mm. You know what, but... Uh, I was one of these people that hated Armageddon when it came out. and I, I watched it. I enjoy it because it's so stupid, but I admit, I agree. I totally understand why you hate it, but... Again, we're going off topic. Yeah, we're going off topic because we brought up fucking cop movies or we go to Bad Boys which talked to Michael Bay and... Yeah, okay, well, um, I said. But, uh, my favourite character in the movie was played by a person who I think should be in far more movies than he, oh, is, yeah. than he is, Robert Patrick. The T-1000 thousand. is in this movie. My, one of my <laughs> favourite quotes from movies ever, bar if I... You know, I could kill you now, but I won't from Four Guys and Be Velvet. Well, what about, what about, uh, you're so drunk you couldn't see your own dick to piss? From oh, yeah, Mr. Legend 2. Well. Yeah, that bit, 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 yeah, well, but is a quote from Die Hard 2, where he goes like, What do I look like? Like a sitting duck, and shoots, and it's Robert Patrick in Die Hard 2, shooting someone in the face. <laughs> I'm so I'm apprehensive about but Die Hard 4. Oh, just five, I will point that out. But no, where uh, was I? Dire, dire I five. loved his character. He was awesome. He's basically, um, basically he, they find how, he's how in a pulp they... magazine. So obviously he's been getting stories written about him. And he's like a, a western shooter, that really fast firing, you know, training yeah. guy. And he exists. Is he, and it's I like, hell remember. yeah. I can't remember. Is he like, in the movie, what, what, what was his, was he just like, like, what was his profession exactly? Like, like, how did he teach people? Or did he, uh, was he, uh, I can't remember. Maybe he was like one of these western shooters in movies, because it is Los Angeles. Maybe yeah, he was like a, a movie star. Maybe. He was like, I, 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 that's the thing. I he always, was awesome. Yeah, he Absolutely was awesome. awesome. He was really the bit good. when he, I do wonder yeah, what the bit he was, when he's got the Thompson awesome. submachine gun, he's like, nah, I don't know where to put it. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, he just like, he was like, fuck it, this is too big. He just pulls out. <laughs> I like how he's doing the whole thing, like, you know, cocking it back, you know. Well, that's how just, it's fire. It's just, yeah, it's just it's, a faster. It's, it's a faster. single action revolver. Yeah, because otherwise you I have to cock it click back. Click, bang, and, click, bang. Yeah, whereas you do... I love seeing that in movies, like... Oh, what was that movie? I, there was a movie I saw in where the guy was just like... If oh, I was, could... You know what? I know this is a terrible way to reference the, the six-shooter, but... In Wild Wild West, Will Smith just walks into a room... Everyone just falls dead. Awesome. <laughs> in a far better movie called Kioma, he's just like, it's like, how much are you gonna pay for all this medicine? Three cents. The price of free blood, huh? Just kills. Oh man. I love Kioma. But yeah, See, I'm, I, 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 I'm awesome, able to, man. I'm able to cleanse your horrible film taste with my great film. Leave Wild Wild West alone. It's a horribly stupid, brilliant movie. But... I like the opening. I like Will Smith's song. <laughs> Wild Wild West. Oh yeah, the riff, the fucking uh, they just took the sample. The Wild Wild West. And we put the Wild Wild West. Away. And we moved the Wild Wild West. But you know what? Wild, wild I know this is a weird thing to bring up, but uh, like I know off the topic of the cast. Mm -hmm. I really liked how this movie was shot. It yeah, was it was really it, nicely the shot. The action was really cool. And the stylish. action was nicely shot. The, I really like the colors. Oh, what, I could not stop staring at this the movie. Color, the bit I really liked, and it was really nice and subtle, if you notice, it was a... Uh, you know, he's got his house shot up, and yeah. they're sitting on the porch, but as you can see, you can see a Christmas tree yeah, behind. The Christmas it's just lights. the lights. The Christmas lights really, all around the house. It was really nice. It was really nice, even though it was a pregnant woman 
crawling no, for her yeah. life. It was like, oh, jeez. No, 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 it's the bit when they're talking on the porch and it's all shot up and you can see the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, that the blinds. Oh, I thought you were referring to the part no, where they No, 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 the blinds. That was really cool, though, when they yeah. shot us up with all the light. That was awesome. But I it, only, was, it was really nice Any time shot. they have, like, slow motion shots in movies, I wish it was Angel G. Castellari shooting it because he likes to shoot the mechanisms of the guns. Mm. Be I love that then, slow to be motion. fair with you, the Thompson really didn't have a nice mechanism mm. to show. MP4 he had a lot better one. Oh. Maybe that's why they had, you know, and the Sten gunner, the kind of, you know, but when you have a nice prolonged boat action, you know, well, the, the, the Thompson was a bit more sunken in with a little tiny bit, it wouldn't, wasn't the same. Although if you were using the old model, not the M A M three one that was the the uh, the gangsters called using, but the gangsters were using the old ones with the the break and the the bit the top that fires. You could have you know the bit goes at the top. This is Nick talks about guns now. Yeah, the the the, <laughs> the gangsters throughout it use um uh, don't only don't only use uh, Thompsons. Uh, I'm gonna put an encyclopedia in the in the box down here. For you all to read it they so we use can get a shot. They use an MP4. Some of them use MP40s at some point. They also use in a bit where they kill some guys silently. They use silenced M3s. And at one point, a guy appears to have a Sten gun because stupid. It must be a Canadian Sten gun because mm. yeah. And they also, I'm pretty sure there's a P P P P H41 at some point. You know the the Soviet firearm. They have a bar as well, BAR. Oh yeah, BAR. Uh, the guys and just blasting the fuck yeah. out of it. And plenty of 1911s. Mm. And I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah, there's some. One, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a uh, some F8 uh, uh, Browning high powers used mm. and stuff. But BAR. Oh, yeah. I love. I wish the BAR was used. But I love the BAR. Yeah. Anyways, back on, topic, rifle. back on topic about the movie, <laughs> it was like, what else about the movie? The soundtrack? Yeah, just Kick the setting. Ass. It was good old the like, only thing 50s, I, 40s yeah, jazz. I like, uh, you know, the whole uh, it's taking place after the war, she had that war. I just wanted yeah, I like that, a yeah. war flashback, but then I like, you know. Like, I liked how also that they didn't go, like, you know, one of the guys in the gangster squad, he's an African American. And I like how they didn't kind of go too far on the whole racial thing. No, he did. He was they, basically. He would, they were discussing how heroin was killing everyone, but you know. Yeah, they had that. They had a little moment like when they were in the police station and the guy was calling him boy, mm -hmm. you know. But they didn't go too far and make that a massive point because this movie knows what it's trying to. Yeah, be. it's not. Yeah. It's not trying to be. Uh, racism is wrong or drugs is wrong. It's just. A bunch of gangsters that, yeah. piss off. A bunch of coppers piss off gangsters. That's yeah, I mean, but um, it's so enjoyable. Also in it is um, well, what's his face? What's the name of the Mexican guy? I don't know, but the 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 the, the wire guy. He's not been in a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, he was he was really good actually. He was like the, the nerdy character. He was in. He's like yes, was, I do. He was the creepy guy in Ted, and he was also the bloody business guy in fucking Avatar. But I'm uh, in other <laughs> stuff as well. But he was really good. He was, I like yeah. his moustache. It was almost like a porn stash. Yeah, I know. It was really cool. And the scene, like, when... Uh, okay, spoilers. Uh, the scene when he dies. Uh -huh. Like, when he, when the main character, when Josh Brolin goes to see the mother. We don't see much of the mother because... You know, we throughout the movie, we see little... Like, we see the his wife a little bit. But we see more of, a little bit more of the son. Mm -hmm. And then when, when the... Son finds out his father died. He goes completely mental, like trashing his bike that his father fixed for him earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, that brought me to tears. I was like, I don't know, man. You know, it was really heart wrenching stuff. From, from really heart wrenching stuff from a Pansy. movie from a movie where a guy got ripped in half by two cars. To Toro, attack! <laughs> he's he's You're coming. A fucking pansy. Fuck off, Santa Claus. <laughs> But I think I don't know. I don't know what else can you say about this movie. I really liked it. it I, I yeah. was surprised by it. It's definitely it's, uh, a very good movie. I uh, think you should definitely go and see it. I it's think enjoyable. It's, it's mm, brilliant. Go and see I it. I think it's highly underrated from what it's been getting on Rotten Tomatoes or Rotten Tomatoes as it is over here in Britain. But on Rotten Tomatoes, it's beginning like thirty percent. Yeah, people are because everyone's comparing it to LA Confidential. Everyone's saying like, oh, "It's new LA Confidential." Don't you fucking get it? Come on, people! I'm gonna make a site called Fresh Potatoes, and that will be us like the fight back. <laughs> where it was like Ninja Terminator is great. And Ninja Terminator is <laughs> the best movie ever made. 
Freshpotatoes.com. Oh god. Your true fresh op fresh opinions. It's fresh on opinions on potatoes. <laughs> but you know what? I think that's all we can really say about this movie. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Great cast, great music, great setting, great action. And any characters. movie that has a stain gun in it gets my vote of approval. And any movie where it's just a bunch of guys in trench coats with hats, with Tommy guns, shooting the place up, you, you know you're going to get a thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm. On a side note, check out the movie Dick Tracer. Anyways, yeah. I think that's about all we can say. Yeah, bye! -bye. bye.